Hi cuties, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you who are new, I am Trika of Trika Plans. I'm also the owner of the Cuteness Boutique, where you can find some cuteness for your stationary needs. This is where the planning and the cuteness collide. We will plan this thing called life one day at a time, sprinkling in lifestyle, inspiration, encouragement, and so much more. So cuties, we are here today for our first Soulful Sunday of the new year. Happy New Year for those of you who are new. Welcome back to the cuties that are already a part of the hashtag cuteness squad. Remember, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead, take a few moments and hit the red subscribe button. Join your girl for some goodness. We have a lot planned for this year, but I will definitely do that in another video. But make sure you do thumbs up, thumbs up this video. Also, leave me a comment down below. You know I love hearing from you guys. Make sure your notification bell is turned on. So we're going to dive in. I did my monthly for a change in my war binder. We still have this war binder. And I am going to be updating the war binder. I am waiting on another system um, that is not currently well it's in production so it will be um from ben bon alley and it should be on the way she opens back up this month so we have a lot of exciting news and remember you can save 20 percent by using trika 20 over at benbonalley.com all of the links is in the description bar so check out the monthly i just wanted something colorful and bright we also have a doll from the cuteness boutique i mean i absolutely love it this is Belle. um she is a part of the warbinder collection and you can check that out at www.cutenessboutique.com so we have all of the scriptures here i will definitely um put uh i will definitely put all of the scriptures so that you can follow along in um on the community tab and inside of the cuteness squad facebook group so make sure you do join the cuteness squad facebook group so that way you can keep up with all of this stuff as well and that way you can follow me along as i go and it will also be linked in the description bar all of the scriptures for the month of june i'm at january why do i keep saying june <laughs> I guess because they start with J. Oh, goodness. I've been saying June all day. I mean, all day. So I'm not going to cut this one out because I have to stop, redo it. No. So this is it. We are going to discuss for our first Soulful Sun Sunday back, New Beginnings. So today, we're going to be doing Letting It Go. We're going to focus on John 14 and 6. And also, we're going to have our soul work, which is Galatians 5 verses 16 through 17 so if you are interested in seeing how this come along then just keep on watching okay so i'm gonna use this kit this journaling sheet actually from the cuteness boutique and then i also have here angelica so i'm gonna play around with some different things um for this week's soulful sunday so now let's dive in Okay, we are diving right into John 14 and 6. We are letting go of the old and embracing the new. We are going to journey in the scripture can be a great adventure if we put ourselves in the story. So what I like to do is imagine that I was that, that I am in the story, that I am among the disciples. You've been with Jesus for three years and now at the Passover supper, Jesus promises something new well someone new so often we were told something is new it basically an improvement on an old design but when god is doing something new it's like a new creation something we've never ever experienced before though jesus was telling his disciples there would be someone new it did not really dawn on them what he meant how many times in our lives has god done something new in our lives that was totally outside of our expectations and hopes in this message it is framed around john 14 and 6 
and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. And I am reading from the NLT version of the Bible. So if you are reading this in any other version, then just follow along. The context of this passage is Jesus preparing his disciples for his departure. He's he is basically saying, I need to leave you so that my replacement can come. The replacement is the third member of the Godhead, which is Trinity, the Holy Spirit. He would never leave us unlike Jesus needing to leave so that we would all benefit. This is a principle that is true so many aspects in so many aspects of life. In order to gain something new, we have to let go of the old. I know it's hard to let go of things that's old and things that we are comfortable with and things that we are accustomed to doing. But we have to let go of the old in order to gain the new. In order for there to be a harvest, the growth from the previous season has to be removed. In order to gain big teeth, you need to lose your milk teeth. So when you're when you're young and you know you growing up, you grow your teeth. Then you have those teeth for a couple of years. Then one by one, or two by two, or three by three, they fall out. So the then your big teeth come in. So that is an example that I like to you know use, and it helps me remember the scripture a lot more. So in order to enter adulthood, we need to leave home. In order to take that promotion, you need to leave your previous role. Another example would be needing to let go of this life when we die so that we can enter the next life. Letting go of the old so that we can gain the new is a repeated theme here, right? And it's also a repeated theme through life. So the challenge with entering the new is that it's bittersweet. The sadness of saying goodbye, the letting go of the familiar and what we know so that we can be ready to embrace the new. So I know some people were for the year is embrace. So be ready to embrace the new. The disciples had to let go of the physical interactions with Jesus, the dreams and hopes they had developed as being part of Jesus' inner circle. They had to grieve that loss. They had to welcome change so that they could appreciate and enjoy the new. The challenge with new things is that They are often beyond our imagination. And because they are beyond our imagination, we will prefer the comfort of the familiar. Even with the pandemic, the COVID-19 season, it was, it's like an, it was an invitation from God for us. So, it was a lot of change. We had to expect the unexpected. We had to embrace the new. We had to embrace the new norm of the mass, embrace, um, you know, getting vaccines. We just had to embrace a lot of stuff, stuff being shut down. Really, God put us in a position to be still. And we had to be still and know that he's still God so that we can embrace the new things that are coming. His followers had to accept the laws whatever it may be, and begin the journey of allowing God to birth something new in us and through us for this world. So a prayer that I like to pray is just asking Jesus to give us grace to let go of the old, your your life, dreams, expectations, and the goals. And I do this prayer, you know, before the COVID-19, while we're in the pandemic, while, you know, all of this and ask him for grace to patiently wait on new things. He wants 
to work in our life. Watch your speech, commit to complaining less, and rather allow him to counsel us with what he wants us to farm on the inside of ourselves. So I hope this really resonated with you all. And I hope that, you know, we all gain something from from it. So I'm going to read to you John chapter 14 and 6. It is, and I will ask the father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. And I already stated it in the passage, in the scripture, and in our Bible journaling session. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, Soulful Sunday. But I will definitely let you guys see the end of the process. And also, our soul work is Galatians 5 verses 16 through 17 so i say walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh for the flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh they are in conviction and no excuse me they are in conflict with each other so that you are not to do whatever you want. Enjoy. Okay, cuties, here is the completed process of the Soulful Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, just something a little different. I really, really, really did enjoy this message. I hope you all enjoyed it as well. So there we have it. We have the end. We have the soulful, the soul work and everything. So... I will definitely see you all next week. We will be diving, deep diving into John 14, 16, and 17. We're going to continue on with this passage, but we're going to add another verse to it. And instead of letting go, it's going to be my helper. And we will deep dive into that. So I can't wait to see you guys in the soul work for next week is Romans 8 verses 5 through 6 and I will see you next 
Sunday for our Soulful Sunday. Have an awesome Sunday. Relax. Get you some rest. Unwind. Um, leave me a note in the comments and let me know what you're doing for this Sunday. And let me know if you have enjoyed this Soulful Sunday. I'll see you in my next one. Toodles.